myself Take me right back to the start Hi guys, Paul here and welcome to another Classic Lens video and today I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the builder's base at level 3 and starting out at level 4 as well uh, So, if you are new to Clash of Clans, uh, what exactly can you expect from the builder's base? Uh, oh, we have old troops but with new abilities And uh, the first troop that we get is uh, the Barbarian, but this time he's raged. Um, and the raged Barbarian has a four second ability uh, where his first attack uh, uh, will see his speed and damage are increased by four seconds. The next troop is the Sneaky Archer. And for the first three seconds, she's invisible to all defences. As seen here. Invisible to defences for the first three seconds. Uh, next, uh, we have the Boxer Giant with Power Punch Special Ability. And for the first attack, the Boxer Giant deals 250% more damage to defences. Uh, finally, we have the Beta Minion. Uh, with the special ability Long Shot, this ability allows the Beta Minion to throw from a longer range for the first two attacks. Uh, now, about what to upgrade at Builder Hofi. Uh, so first thing you want to do is upgrade both your elixir collector and gold mine collector to level 2. Uh, once you've upgraded these then you need to upgrade your elixir storage and uh, gold storage. Uh, because at builder base level 3 you need a third army camp. Which obviously at level 1 you were unable to get because the uh, gold the uh, elixir at level one is only seventeen uh, seventeen thousand uh, therefore you need level two elixir storage in order to get this third build the third army camp uh, but if you end up with uh, maxed uh, gold at this time then you can of course start uh, getting your uh, push trap and spring traps as well as your mines uh, you obviously need the third army camp uh, to give you a better chance at beating you uh, at defeating your enemies uh, now what to upgrade yeah, so personally I would upgrade my cannons first uh, then my double cannon and then my archer tower I wouldn't worry too much about upgrading uh, your firecracker or upgrading uh, your hidden tesla or crusher as at Builder Hall 3, uh, these are actually quite effective uh, by themselves. I would also um, concentrate on just upgrading uh, one troop at a time. For example, if he use archers the most, then I would upgrade your archers to level 6 before upgrading any of the troop or uh, however I have upgraded all of my uh, troops uh, to uh, Star Laboratory level 2 before upgrading that to level 3 
Uh, now, for attacks, as you can see, it near enough every base I've defeated, I've got majority three stars on. The first attack I'm going to show you is where I've used two archers and four minions. And firstly, I use the archers, no, the giants to to obstruct the defences while my minions work at taking them out. Now, once you've got the archer tower out of the way, the minions will have no problem defeating the rest of the base. As you can see here, uh, my minions have only lost one minion and one giant. And uh, this, in retrospect, is going to be a free star, so let's rush this base on. Now, the next attack is this one here where the enemy only managed to get 37% of my base where I only end, where I ended up with 100%. Now, as you can see, I've designed my base in a kind of like U shape. Uh, this is basically so that none of my troops can get to uh, my uh, builder hall. And as you can see, they fail to three star. Well, thank you for watching. And please remember if you enjoy what you see, to subscribe and share at this video thank you sorry guys i also forgot to mention um this is my builder base level four um as you can see i'm new to at base hall level four uh, but the first thing that i did upgrade was my clock tower uh, to level one now, the clock tower, when you first initially get this available, you get a three minute boot, a three five minute boost, which can be used to obviously speed up your base to get your elixir and gold. Also, any troops in the star laboratory will all be boosted for this five seconds. Uh, now, every eight hours, as you can possibly see there, it, there's a little timer above the clock tower. Uh, this basically initially basically means that every eight hours, it, you get an extra five minute boost free. Or, of course, you can boost that now. Also, I would recommend once get into build a whole feed you start upgrading it your storages and gold and elixir in order to upload upgrade your troops now the next troop available at town hall 4 is of course at this troop here which is the bomber now at the bomber uh, like all of the bombers, destroys walls, and blows up anything in sight, out of bonus damage to walls. So, but I shall go into more detail about the builder hall for another time. Thank you for watching. Bye.